Welcome to the Kelly A. Bergstrom Leadership Center of Pi Kappa Phi. The Bergstrom Leadership Center of Pi Kappa Phi is the administrative office of the Greater Fraternity. And within its walls, the Pi Kappa Phi Fraternity, the Pi Kappa Phi Foundation, Push America, and Pi Kappa Phi Properties carry out their activities, which when taken together, advance the mission and vision of this great organization. But the Bergstrom Leadership Center is so much more than just the national office of the fraternity. Indeed, throughout the entire building, pieces and objects of the, from the fraternity's archive hang on the walls and tell the remarkable narrative of the fraternity through its people, places, and events, which have shaped this organization for well over 100 years. In 2005, the fraternity and its affiliate organizations began a capital campaign to secure our new home. Through the generosity of many alumni, Pi Kappa Phi was able to realize its dream of a leadership center that would serve students, chapters, and alumni groups. In accomplishing this dream, we are also proud to say that no student dollars were used in the construction of the Bergstrom Leadership Center. As you tour this building, you will see many things, some new, some old, but all that connect in some fashion to the interesting and compelling timeline of Pi Kappa Phi. Along the journey, you will notice a certain emblem which is present above doors and within this entryway. It is the keystone of Pi Kappa Phi. It comes from the wise words of founder L. Harry Mixon, who in a Founder's Day speech to Beta Gamma Chapter in 1961 said the following, I like to think of Pi Kappa Phi in symbolic terms as an arch. The arch forms above the pillars and in the center is fitted the keystone. That stone without which the arch would fall. The keystone of Pi Kappa Phi is the words which are the principles of our order. One of the things we've tried to do at the Bergstrom Leadership Center of Pi Kappa Phi is include something from every chapter. So whether you're from Alpha or from Theta Alpha, you'll have something here at the national headquarters of the fraternity that you can connect to. Behind me are the chapter mugs that we've purchased for every single chapter of the fraternity and which are on display here at the Leadership Center. One of the signature spaces within the Bergstrom Leadership Center of Pi Kappa Phi is the IOTA Chapter Boardroom. This beautiful boardroom was made possible by a gift from IOTA alumnus Pete Petit, who is a major contributor in the campaign and has facilitated the fraternity's telling of IOTA's narrative and its contribution to Pi Kappa Phi, especially in the early years of the fraternity. The story of IOTA chapter is best told through the eyes of five brothers, brothers Lawton Ellis, Chick Cavedo, Devereaux Rice, George Griffin, and Pete Petit, who are all featured in the boardroom, and it details their unique contribution to the fraternity. One of the signature items within the boardroom is the IOTA chapter charter itself, dating back to 1913. It's the oldest known charter in possession by the fraternity and is on permanent loan by IOTA chapter and hangs proudly here in the boardroom. The ground floor of the Pi Kappa Phi National Headquarters features the Eldred J. Harmon Museum. The museum is designed to replicate a turn-of-the-century Charleston parlor and is named in honor of the headquarters campaign first donor and dedicated alumnus from Iowa State University. The Harmon Museum features some of Pi Kappa Phi's most treasured artifacts, including the first flag of Pi Kappa Phi, the Articles of Incorporation, The original minutes of the New Phi Society from November 19, 1904, and of the Pi Kappa Phi Fraternity on December 10, 1904. The table from the Mixon home on which the original minutes were written. And the first issue of the Star and Lamp magazine. Welcome to the Porterfield Toronto Education and Seminar Room. We're downstairs in the Bergstrom Leadership Center of Pi Kappa Phi just next to the Elger J. Harmon Museum. This is a terrific facility, and when you think about the mission of Pi Kappa Phi as a leadership organization, this is really where the wheels of that mission find its best and strongest traction. 
In this facility, chapters will often use it as a place for associate member retreats, officer transition retreats, brotherhood events. Alumni organizations and housing corporations will come and do planning meetings here. We even have an occasional chapter anniversary that's hosted here. We'd like to talk to you a little bit about what's on the wall behind me here. See, this room is named after Todd Porterfield and Jason Torado. Todd was a member of the Alpha Delta chapter at the University of Washington, and Jason, a member of the Zeta Epsilon chapter at George Mason University. Both of these students lost their life in the summer of 2000 in service to Push America. Todd was a cyclist on the Journey of Hope South route, and Jason was the project manager that summer for Gear Up Florida. And while we mourn their loss, we are happy that their spirits and what they cared about so deeply is still alive here in this room. We hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Kelly A. Bergstrom Leadership Center of Pi Kappa Phi. If you'd like to schedule a tour, or if your alumni group or student chapter would like to schedule an event, please contact us at PiCapHQ at PiCap.org.